hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to print a pascal triangle using c programming the pascal triangle patterns should look like this we will have something like this this is the pascal triangle now here what we are going to do is we are going to create a program that's going to ask the limit for the user the user is going to decide how many for pascal triangle for what limit okay based on that we are going to get a print like this now let's go ahead and create this one first i'm going to introduce some integer type of variable integer i j n and also here we have to find out the factorial to find out the factorial we are going to do another function let's go ahead and do the that function first integer factorial fact i name this one as fact and inside of this one integer n this integer value is going to be passed like that's going to be integer value going to be passed from this function to the main function that's why we are going to do this one and we are going to pass this one to the main function now let's go ahead and do the factorial operation factorial operation is uh, let's uh, initialize some values integer i am declaring a integer type of variable f is equal to one i'm initializing with that one with one and also i'm in like uh, declaring another another integer type of variable that's i inside of this one i'm creating a for loop in this for loop i initialize this i with one i with one and we set a i set a condition that i is less than n less than or equal to n less than or equal to n then i plus plus and then we put the factorial equation factorial f is equivalent to f times i okay now that's it now we have to return this factorial to the main function so return return f now whenever we declare a new function we have to prototype on top let's go ahead and do the prototyping Pro do the to do the prototyping just copy paste it before the main function and get rid of this one and put a semicolon right here okay now we have do, done the prototyping now inside of this function we are going to do the like we are going to create the pattern like we are going to do the operation for this pattern for that one we have to create a nested for loop first one we have to ask the input from the user so we have to give a prompt to the user first in the in that prompt we are going to ask the user to enter the limit enter the limit and the user is going to input a value i'm going to to get the input we have to use a scanf statement scanf and the user is going to enter a number since this is an integer type of variable we have to put a percentage d and whatever the value user entering we are going to store that one in n ampersand n okay now let's go ahead and create the first for loop first for loop this is the outer loop outer loop i initialize this one with zero zero and then i set a condition i is less than or equal to n less than or equal to n and i do the increment by one for this one and inside of this one we are going to create another for loop that's why we call this one nested for loop because we have a for loop inside a for loop and then in this nested for loop we will initialize j with zero and the first one is for the space and if you look at the pattern here the space is decreasing by row okay so when we do the condition what we are going to do is we say j is less than or equal to n minus i n minus i is going to do the decrement by row De decrement of space by row and also we have to do the increment of j plus plus j plus plus and to print out the space we have to put a printer statement in this one we are going to put as we are going to leave a space like this and the next thing is for the numbers for numbers we create another for loop and then we initialize j with zero and then we set a condition j is less than or equal to i and then we do the increment of j by one each time j plus plus and then inside of this for loop we are going to give a printf statement printf 
since this uh, integer type of variable we are going to we are going to print numbers so we have to put a percentage d for that and then the numbers are going to come from factorial like factorial this is the we are calling the factorial function factorial i and then factorial factorial i bracket factorial j multiplied factorial j multiply multiplication then factorial i minus j factorial i minus j and that's the equation now it should work properly let's go ahead and run this one and also we have to give a printf straight like we have to we have to leave a line because every time the loop runs we have to print the next one in the next line so we have to put a new line we have to put a printf statement and put a new line in that backslash in for new line and that's it let's go ahead and run this one Okay, there is something wrong okay guys i just found out the mistake the one mistake was uh, i put a plus right here I, I had to put equal and another mistake is i i, I didn't divide this one i had to put a divide division here now when i execute and also i cannot use this program like i'm using jdoodle it doesn't work because here we have to get the input from the user so i had to put, use another online compiler let's go to online gdp okay i copy this one and leave it here okay now let's continue here okay now let's go ahead and run this one now it's asking us to enter the limit i put five now you can see we are getting the same pattern and that's how we do that. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you are trying to learn C or C++ programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. And if also if you are trying to access these codes, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and access them. And also don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.